Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. I ended up having the time out at the off-grid barn cut short. I had to come into town for a family emergency. So I thought, well, while I'm here, I'll go ahead and get the footage that I had edited out for you. Um, I started, I want to put my vapor barrier up on this gable end wall, but I also want to have the hat channel up on the ceiling area. That way, whatever ceiling covering I decide to put on here, whether it be tin, wood, drywall, um, it will be in place and then the vapor barrier will be able to seal around that hat channel. So it's pretty much just like working with the regular uh, metal studs. You cut it to the length that you may need, you get it put in place, and then you use the self-tapping sheet metal screws and screw it into place. The one downfall to this entire process is all the overspray from the foam company. I spent so much time marking and cutting out foam just to put up, uh, I think it was a total of five hat channels. Now when I first started doing it, I was taking, marking it out with a sharpie, taking a razor knife, cutting nice smooth lines, having it, you know, out to where we had a fairly smooth surface to work with. And this process was just taking me forever. So as you can see here, <laughs> I think this is the following day. I ended up was so frustrated with it I did a quick little score and then I just used the claw end of my hammer to knock the stuff out of the way and then just slide that hat channel up in there if it sat flat then I was like all right I'm good to go and go ahead and get those self tapping screws in I actually have quite a bit of this hat channel that I'm gonna have to get up and the cutting it to where there was a nice smooth even surface was probably three times as long as me just going ahead and knocking the high areas down. Um, and here, you know, you didn't need to see me cutting foam away and putting it all up and it all goes pretty much the same way. So this is the last hat channel that I had for the day. And this is kind of getting things done up here at the peak of the barn. I think what I'm going to do is maybe some uh, recessed lighting up there with a faux wood beam. Um, I saw it on another YouTube channel and it really looked totally cool. Um, and I can just run those LED 12 volt strip lights and tie it directly into the uh, 12 volt system. So I'm just about finished up here. I'm going to go ahead and get my 12 volt fan reinstalled. It uh, just a matter of putting the screws back in. All this stuff was already pre-cut and whatnot, as you remember from my previous video. And then I will be done with this portion for the day. Here I'm just using the uh, waggle wire connectors, getting it all connected back in, and then getting all the wires tucked in place. And it was sh the next morning I actually received a call that uh, I was going to have to go in town because of a family emergency, so this is where I left off. Alrighty then, thanks for stopping by. Y'all have a blessed day.